Be ready for your mind to be blown. Within the fields of psychology and spirituality, there is a notion so deep that it can completely change our perception of God, religion, and the core of human life. Today we look into the shocking statements of a renowned psychologist whose insights into the collective unconscious and its connection to the divine continue to reverberate through the halls of academia and beyond. Get ready to start on a journey that challenges conventional beliefs and opens doors to a new perspective on the spiritual landscape of humanity. This psychologist, a towering figure in the world of psychology, left an indelible mark on the field with their groundbreaking work. Their exploration of dreams, symbols, and mythology unearthed profound truths about the human psyche, forever altering our understanding of the relationship between the individual and the collective. Their influence extends far beyond the confines of academia, touching the lives of countless individuals seeking to understand the deeper mysteries of existence. One of their most revolutionary concepts was the collective unconscious, a vast reservoir of shared human experiences, archetypes, and symbols that transcend individual consciousness. This concept revolutionized the way we perceive religion and spirituality, suggesting that religious experiences are not isolated events, but rather manifestations of deep-seated patterns within the human psyche. It proposed that the collective unconscious holds the key to unlocking the universal truths that bind us together as a species. This psychologist's exploration of the collective unconscious led them to make a series of shocking statements about God and religion that challenged traditional beliefs and sparked controversy. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover these profound insights, peeling back the layers of human consciousness to reveal the hidden connections between psychology and spirituality. At the heart of their controversial claims was the assertion that God, as we traditionally conceive it, is not an external entity residing in some distant realm, but rather an archetype dwelling within the collective unconscious. This bold statement challenged centuries of religious dogma, suggesting that our experience of the divine is not a matter of faith alone, but a deeply ingrained psychological phenomenon. It reframed the conversation about God, shifting the focus from external validation to internal exploration. The implications of this idea are far-reaching. It suggests that the myriad religious experiences reported across cultures and throughout history are not random occurrences, but rather manifestations of this God archetype within the collective unconscious. From the visions of mystics to the rituals of ancient civilizations, the psychologist argued that these experiences are rooted in the shared human psyche, reflecting universal patterns and symbols that transcend an individual beliefs. It is a perspective that invites us to reconsider the very nature of religious experience, prompting us to ask, is God a projection of our own minds? Or is there something more profound at play? Taking this idea further, the psychologist proposed that religions themselves are symbolic expressions of the collective unconscious. They argued that the rituals, myths, and dogmas that form the backbone of religious traditions are not simply arbitrary constructs, but rather tap into the deep well of archetypal imagery and symbolism that resides within us all. From the hero's journey to the battle between good and evil, these recurring themes resonate across cultures and time, speaking to the fundamental truths of the human condition. This perspective challenges us to view religion not merely as a set of beliefs or practices, but as a profound reflection of the human psyche. It suggests that the power of religion lies not in its ability to provide definitive answers about the universe, but in its capacity to connect us with the deeper layers of our being, where the universal and the personal intersect. It is a perspective that invites us to look beyond the surface of religious traditions and discover the timeless wisdom they contain. In light of these insights, the psychologist emphasized the importance of individuation, a process of integrating the conscious and unconscious aspects of the self. They argued that true spiritual growth lies not in blind adherence to religious dogma, but in a personal journey of self-discovery and integration. It is through this process that we come to understand our place in the grand tapestry of existence and connect with the divine within. This emphasis on individuation challenges the traditional notion that spiritual fulfillment can only be found within the confines of organized religion. 
It suggests that the path to enlightenment is not a one-size-fits-all proposition, but rather a unique journey for each individual. It encourages us to explore our own inner depths, to confront our shadows, and to embrace the totality of our being. It is a call to reclaim our spiritual autonomy and forge our own path to the divine. While one might expect the psychologists' views on God and religion were met with considerable controversy, their ideas challenged deeply held beliefs and threatened to dismantle the foundations of traditional religious institutions. Many religious leaders and scholars condemned their work, accusing them of undermining faith and promoting a secular worldview. The psychologists' ideas also resonated with many who felt disillusioned with organized religion or who sought a more inclusive and psychologically informed understanding of spirituality. Their work opened up new avenues for dialogue and exploration, paving the way for a more nuanced and integrated approach to the study of religion and the human psyche. Despite the controversy, the psychologist's legacy continues to inspire and challenge us today. Their work has had a profound impact on the fields of psychology, religion, and spirituality, opening up new avenues for research and exploration. Their ideas continue to be debated and discussed, sparking new insights and perspectives on the human experience. The psychologist's emphasis on the collective unconscious, archetypes, and individuation has shaped the way we understand ourselves and our place in the world. Their work has encouraged us to look beyond the surface of religious traditions and discover the universal truths that lie beneath. It has inspired countless individuals to start on their own journeys of self-discovery and spiritual exploration. We conclude our video of this psychologist's shocking statements about God and religion. We are left with a profound sense of awe and wonder. Their insights into the collective unconscious, the archetypal nature of God, and the importance of individuation have challenged us to rethink our understanding of spirituality and the human experience. They have invited us to look beyond the confines of traditional religious dogma and discover the divine within ourselves. The psychologist's legacy is a testament to the power of open-mindedness and exploration in matters of faith and spirituality. They remind us that the journey to understanding the mysteries of existence is ongoing and that there is always more to discover. They encourage us to question, to challenge, and to seek our own truths, even if they defy conventional wisdom. We hope this exploration of groundbreaking psychological insights has sparked curiosity and inspired reflection. If you found this video thought-provoking, we encourage you to like it, share it with others who may appreciate this perspective, and subscribe to our channel for more content that looks into the fascinating intersection of psychology and spirituality. Let's continue this journey of discovery together.